really don't have a clue of where anything is out here, so we'll just follow David on around. A lot different terrain than uh, what I'm used to. More hills, more corn. Not a whole lot of landing spots here. But it sure is pretty. We're about 425 feet in the air, doing about uh, 34 miles an hour. And we're heading uh, almost west, southwest. And it looks like some things are starting to open it up out here once we get out of here. So, beautiful country out here in Amishville. Out here by Sugar Creek. Just kind of scanning the area. Give you a look what's out and about here. A lot of Amish cabinet makers out here. A lot of furniture shops. Well, this is an old building down here. It's been out of business for a long time. Brick walls are falling in. About 500 feet. And there's the old train station right there. And the old trains. Still a little bouncy out here. Old water tank down here for the steam engines. Got a place to turn the trains around. Do another quick view of this. And we'll just keep on following David. I know you guys are digging my shorts today with my uh, shoes and black socks. I was thinking about wearing white tube socks. But I know that that would probably get too much attention up here in the sky. Fluorescent orange might have been okay. If David's going to throw some candy out or not. It's kind of the thing to do with Amish kids. Throw candy out. They're all running. He must have threw it. Yep. Every I was wondering why every time I fly over an Amish area, the kids always come running because they throw candy to them. Here comes the candy man. Here's a lighthouse down here or something. Well, that's a big lighthouse. Yeah, they're building them a lighthouse or that's a kid's playground or something. Looks like he's getting lined up so he can 
drop candy and have them all run into each other and hit each other in the head. There they are. They're waiting for their candy. And they're waving. And there goes the candy. And there goes the kids. David's a candy man. Well, now I feel bad. I didn't drop any candy. There's a Amish buggy down there on the road. cruising by. They're all over it. Uh, normally they go over to one person's place or one of their churches or something and they, they stay there all day and they play games. Softball, and volleyball. I think soccer too. Molly the milk cow down there. Don't want to run them. See if I can get out of their way. I don't want to. Oh well, it's too late. Don't want to run the cows, sour the milk. About 5.3 miles from the runway. Doing about 30 miles an hour, about 340 feet. Doing about, uh, the RPMs are about 38, 20. And we're dropping just a little bit. David's hitting the kids up again. Yeah, they're chasing the candy. He's like Santa Claus. <laughs> David's like Santa Claus. He's just, he's going to all these houses and just dropping candy. <laughs> oh, I got me laughing. Who can make the sun shine? Oh, boy. I got a song for this, for this video. They're all waving. And he's looking down in his big red bag. Santa's gonna drop another load of candy because he can't make he can't let these kids down. He's going in for the candy drop. And there it is. The candy flies. Good shot. Right on the kids. got a route. I didn't realize he was going to go on this Candyman route. Oh, he's heading to another one. It's really hazy out there. About five till eight. I went ahead and turned on the strobe. Seventeen, eighteen miles an hour.
kind of like, looks like the Blue Ridge Mountains. You look way, way out there, and I know you can't see it, but I can see it. It's Conesville. Those cones go way up there, so you can see them from all over Ohio. Well, not all over, but a lot of areas. go ahead just kind of looking over the LZ here got to fly over these barns and houses to land Cut the flagpole. Then landed on my truck. Nice one. <laughs> 